join me for 20 minutes of upper body TLC. Hello and welcome to Asana with Jess. Starting with our eyes closed, hands on the knees, seated in a cross-legged position. Taking a few deep breaths to reset the mind and the body ready for our class today. Drawing a deep inhale through the nose and on the exhale, lifting the right arm over the head, tilting to the left, using the left hand to pull gently at the right wrist, feeling a stretch down the right side body. And drawing your body back to center. Inhale, this time on the exhale, lift the left arm over the head using the right hand to gently pull at that wrist, tilting to the right. This time feeling a stretch down the left side body. And draw your torso back to center, releasing the hands to the mat. Turning to face lengthways down your mat, we're going to take some seated cat and cows. Hands on the knees, inhale, tuck the chin into the chest, round through the shoulders and the spine. Exhale, arch through the back, roll the shoulders back, tilt the head forward. Inhale, curve in, Exhale, curve up, repeating this movement in your own time. Feeling the flexibility of the spine. Taking one last cat and cow movement here. And returning to a neutral spine, place the hands on your mat in front of you, uncross the legs coming onto your knees. Walk the right arm out in front of you and take the left arm, pulling it underneath your body towards the right hand side. Keeping the left palm facing up and bringing the left ear to the mat. Making sure your hips are in line with your knees. This is a twisted version of our extended puppy dog pose. You can either keep your elbow planted on the mat or you can lift that right elbow off the mat. and slowly lifting yourself back up to center. This time extend the left arm out in front of you, taking the right arm underneath you, bringing the right ear to the mat, keeping the right palm facing up. For our twisted extended puppy dog pose on the other side. And slowly bringing yourself back up to a tabletop position, walking your hands back in. Bending at the elbows, press down, releasing into your cobra. Elbows planted on the mat, 
gazing towards the ceiling. Really drawing the shoulders back and down, squeezing between the shoulder blades, feeling that release through the center of the back. Slowly lower your torso to the mat, come up onto your fingertips, inhale and on the exhale press your torso up into a nice extended version of our cobra. And exhale, releasing into this pose, gazing towards the ceiling, now feeling the stretch all through the abdominal muscles. And slowly lower your chest to the mat. Bring your right arm out at a 90 degree angle. Turn your body away from the right arm, resting on that right hip tucking the knees into the chest, using the left hand to prop you up or taking it behind your back in a bind. This is our broken wing pose. This can be quite an intense stretch so take it easy and listen to your body. You should be feeling this all up the right arm and in your chest too. Take one more breath here. Bring your left hand back towards your body and roll onto your stomach. This time, extend the left arm out at a 90 degree angle. Turn away from that arm coming onto your left hip, using the right hand to prop you up and resting on your left ear. Remembering you can take the right hand in a bind behind your back. And taking one more breath here. Begin to unwind the right hand, bringing it next to your body. Extending the legs back out and coming onto your stomach. Pressing onto your knees into a tabletop position, tucking the toes under and lifting the hips to the sky for our very first downward dog. Breathing deeply into this pose, with every exhale releasing the heels a little bit closer to the mat. Spreading your weight evenly across all fingertips, really extending through the back. Letting the head hang loose, gazing towards your feet. Really focus on drawing the shoulder blades apart and rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take a few more breaths here. Gazing towards your hands, step the right foot forward into a low lunge. Then turn both feet to face the long edge of your mat. Making sure the toes are pointed outwards, bending at the knees, coming up into our goddess pose. Hands on the knees, drop the left shoulder down for a twist. Making sure your knees are in line with your ankles. Just taking this gentle twist, feeling it all throughout the back.
make your way back to center back into the goddess pose and this time drop the right shoulder down twisting the other way and lifting your torso back up to center. Extending through the legs, perhaps taking them a little bit wider and this time turning the toes to point inwards to protect the ankles. Come into a forward fold. It is optional to intertwine your hands behind your back and lifting them over the head. This is quite a deep stretch through the upper back. If you have chosen to take the bind behind you, you can challenge yourself a little bit further by gently rocking the hands from side to side, mobilizing those back muscles. If you have your hands intertwined, gently lower them to the mat. From here, we're going to turn to face towards that right foot, stepping the left foot in to the top of the mat for our forward fold. Holding onto opposite elbows behind your knees, use your knees to press your shoulder blades apart, pulling at the wrists and the arms to release the tension between the shoulder blades and swapping which hand is in front. Slowly release the hands to the mat, inhale for halfway lift. Bend at the knees and come onto your bottom. Planting the hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale and on the exhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Pointing through the toes, gazing towards the ceiling, or if you like, tilting your head all the way back for our reverse tabletop pose. And slowly lower your hips to the mat, tilting your head forward. Making sure there is enough room behind you, lower onto your back. Bringing the knees into the chest, cross the left leg over the right leg. Tilt the knees to the right. Bring your arms out in a cacti position and gaze towards that left hand for a supine twist. Focusing on your breath now, inhaling deep into the belly, the puku, and slowly exhaling out through the mouth. Feeling this lovely back opening stretch. Slowing down the body and the mind for our more restorative part of the class.
take a few more breaths here. Inhale and on the exhale, lift the knees back to center. Untwist them and this time twist the right leg over the left leg. Tilt the knees to the left. Keeping your arms in a cacti position, this time gaze towards the right hand. Feeling the supine twist down the other side. Slowing the breathing, nice and controlled, our pranayama, our breath work, relaxing into this pose, a little bit further with every exhale. Taking a few more breaths here. Inhale and on the exhale, lift the knees to center, untwist the legs and come up onto your elbows. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears and pulling the shoulder blades together. Tilt the head to the right, feeling a stretch down the left side of the neck. Slowly lift your head to center and tilt it to the left this time, feeling the stretch down the right side of the neck. Slowly bring your head back to center and tuck the chin into the chest, feeling a stretch down the back of the neck. And tipping that head all the way back gazing behind you, feeling that release across the front of the neck and the chest. Carefully draw your head back in, tucking the chin into the chest and lowering the shoulders and the back to the mat. Bring your ankles hip width distance apart and lay your hands, palms facing upwards at your sides for our savasana, the last pose of today's class and the most restorative. Drawing your focus back to your breath, slowing the breathing, taking it all in. Noticing how your body feels compared to at the start of our practice today. Melt your body into the mat, allowing a full state of relaxation. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and lift your arms over your head, taking a big stretch, stretching out nice and long, waking up the body. One by one, tuck the knees into the chest and roll over onto your side, slowly pushing your way up into a seated position crossing your legs in the middle of your mat. Closing your eyes, 
and rolling the shoulders back. Focusing on your pranayama, your breathing. Think of one thing you are grateful for today. Draw the hands to heart center. Thank yourself for showing up to this class today. Sending you love and light. Namaste.